Oh yeah. We're stepping into the gates of fuckery today. Well, peeps, I think the Almighty has finally happened. Planes are falling from the skies, animals from the seas are emerging onto land, aliens are two miles away from Earth ready to start apocalypse, and video games now create brain injurisms. World Heroes on the fucking Genesis. World Heroes was one of those unfortunate games that tried to emulate Street Fighter's success during the early 90s and the mid 90s. And any fighting game out of that time was either trying to be like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. As you may have seen before, Eternal Champions is one of those Mortal Kombat wannabes that stayed in the 90s along with this piece of shit. Well this time unlike Eternal Champions, the characters were created by a very creative game developer by a guy named Doc Brown devises a tournament to put every fighter from the great times of history to devise a great tournament and fight against each other. Sounds very familiar, doesn't it? This also was on all versions of the Neo Geo, and it was also an arcade port that was in arcades back in the 90s. So, so far it sounds like it's going to be a great game, huh? Think again. Oh, man. First of all, the graphics are just mind-blowingly awful. This shit looks like a sewage infested bitch who just got AIDS for fucking a horny ass monkey who just had his cop blown by a horse that was fucked in the ass by an STD filled dildo which was inside Pinky the Porn Star's pussy. In other humanly words, they just aren't good. The choppy outline of this just gives you an indication that the characters are not even gonna look detailed enough. The cover in the game is just generic as fuck, but for anybody growing up in the 90s we would have easily been attracted to something like this, but why the fuck can this be the game title instead of that? You have the basic options on here to choose your difficulty, but regardless of if it's easy or hard, you still will get your ass hairs ripped out of your mouth. And here's the gameplay. Oh my god. You, you've, you've got to be fucking kidding me right now. Now I'll get into the Street Fighter ripoffs in a minute, but these graphics just define what you call 16-bit throw-up. Now let's talk about the controls on here. My god, did they fuck up on the controls. Everything you execute on here is as slow as shit dripping out of one's ass, and it's impossible to do combos on here. The only way you can have a possibility to win on here is to keep tapping the A and B button as fast as you can. The C button does this throw attack, but the computer moves so fucking fast that you won't be able to catch them. Now what the fuck and who the fuck is this dude I'm fighting? Better yet, who the fuck is this dude I'm even controlling? Dragon? The fuck out of all the names they could have possibly chose, why the goddamn fuck would they choose the name Dragon? It's obvious that this guy's a Bruce Lee ripoff and Bruce Lee had a movie called The Last Dragon. So in other words, do the dip bastards even care that people will notice shit like this? I'm not even gonna get in detail about the other characters because it's fucking obvious who they ripped off of. Whoever this Brockin fucker is supposed to be is a ripoff of M. Bison, so that explains all the details needed. It might have had some kind of copyright issue back with Capcom. Now back to the gameplay and the controls. First of all, because the control is so fucking shitty in this game, that makes the gameplay so much harder. If you thought Eternal Champions controls were bad, these controls actually embrace Eternal Champions controls. The jumping is so fucking slow and so flawed on here, you sometimes would think that your controller just fell out the socket. The first person you have to fight on here isn't that bad, but it takes a while to figure out how to beat him. This is a prime example of a trial and error game. I don't give a fuck if you beat Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter before, before you play this game. It's just no way in hell you can just fly past this game the first time playing it. You just have to keep attacking the shit out of your opponent and just pray that you can hit them and beat them before they beat you. And by the time you beat the first person over here, your hands will be so goddamn sore and you so you would need a six button controller or a turbo button, turbo button controller. Another issue about this poor exclusive of plastic is the fucking time. I didn't mention it in my Eternal Champions review, but the time really goes down fast in that game. But on here, it just barely gives you a fucking chance. Sometimes it can be on your side because you'll be getting your ass fucked, and the only way you can win is for the time limit to go down, and sometimes it cannot be on your side because you could be actually winning, and then they'll be coming back, and then next you know the shit is fucking going down. I mean, it's like it's ran in millimeters instead of seconds. 
the computer just full of special attacks out of their fucking ass. I mean, it's like any other cheating fighting game you've ever played, and it just doesn't give you a fucking chance. I can honestly say this is the worst fighting game I've ever played. Eternal Champions was bad, but the mechanics will sometimes come through for you. But this, this is just a fucking butt fuck of a mess. Bad storyline, terrible controls, and eye puking graphics. I think this is enough for me to say, you know what? Fuck this game. I can't believe such assery like that was invented upon this earth. That game's graphics are barely above 8 bit level graphics. Man, video games like that made me thank God we have games like Mortal Kombat, man. I swear, that, that, that game makes me really want to stop playing video games after I played it for the first time. As a matter of fact, man, for now on, don't think I'm going to be playing this. How dare you think you can get rid of me? Oh, not this son, son of a bitch. bitch. Again. You're the son of a bitch, you pathetic excuse for a gamer. You can't even get past the third person in this easy fighting game. Easy? Shit, I bet you won't play that shit. That shit's hard as fuck. <laughs> Only the wise can challenge me. Only the elites can challenge me. Only the eternal champion can <sighs> challenge me. You know what? Whoever the fuck you are, show yourself. Fucking demonic voice. Show yourself, you fucking coward. Me. <laughs> what the fuck happened to all my life? Oh shit. I don't think this is being ready to too smoothly. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs>